Hey guys, it's Burger Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA has 17 Liverpool Karama vote. Good, continuing on from the last episode. Good, into this episode where I'm playing Stoke in the FA Cup. And I have a league game against Leicester, despite the fact that I have already won the league. My perfect record is, uh... My 100% record is dead, but my, uh, unbeaten record is still intact, and I... I'm, I'm gonna keep that alive for as long as possible, which... So, this is it. A big day, but not quite yet the day. Can they get through to the final through this semi final of the Emirates FA Cup? Well, it is the worst time to get knocked out of this competition, I which will probably be until the end of FIFA. To get to that final. FIFA 17, sorry. The Stoke City team, here it is for you. Ben Johnson. I can continue with him to FIFA 18, there's no doubt about that. Starts looking to recover his form, and they'll play with a sole striker. And here's the shot. Good work by the goalkeeper. Reading of the by anticipating the pass. Tara. Good challenge. Didn't get anywhere. Well, this got a bit of menace to it. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball and a simple catch, as much as anything is simple in this game. Then Arnold will bring the ball down this building side here, keeping and possession. David. Great play from the attacker. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, yes, it's taking a deflection and it's gone in. At 1-0 inside 11 minutes. Great start. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about it. Going off of uh, former Liverpool man, Glenn Johnson. Oh, it's an own goal as well. Could be a very costly own goal because they're trailing to it now. Shirdan Shakiri made the challenge. Well, the best start to the game in, in such an important game for, for Stoke. This being the semi final of the FA Cup. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw in. Stokes, oh man, injured himself with all going in for that challenge. From Alan McAnally at the Emirates. We're to see. 19 minutes played, 1 1. Cheers, Alan. That's not unheard of. Jordan Shakiri. Philip Walshide, well it is an occupational hazard particularly for defenders, the first choice centre back is suspended today. Yeah, he makes his fair share of tackles and this new boy... Pleasure with the great tackle, well now the counter-attack can begin. It's looking good this move. Alexander Arnold. How did I miss that? Manager here has had an attractive offer to manage at international level, but not attractive enough for him, it seems. No, it seems not. A little bit of a surprise, but uh, the extra workload, he, he feels that he wouldn't be able to do both, and uh, his club job would suffer as a result. And I think the fans would be pleased about that if that was going to be the case.
Kara. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Look at some bitch Johnson. He had to get it right. At the moment, that would have been a definite quite good for pen. Liverpool. Only quite good. They would have hoped to be in a stronger position, but it could be worse, of course, as we look towards the clock and half time approaching. Oh, yeah. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Still there, man. I was going to say there, man, right, but someone got back. 44, I'm not sure. Gruich. Morocco, yeah. Another ex Liverpool player in game. Hmm. Of course. Picked off that pass, and now he's got the ball and a chance to create something. They are. Wow. 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 Half time in the semi final. A narrow lead, but it could be a decisive one. They'll certainly hope so as they head for the dressing room. Well, first 45, everything went according to plan. They've just got to hold the nerve, and I think they're going to. So far, the only goal has been the own goal. See the scoreline in the R semi final, which is being played at the same time as this game. Don't ask me. I have absolutely no idea where they're playing it because I'm at Wembley. So unless there's two games going on at Wembley. Final of the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, this is where we might just see some nerves come into play. As Doesn't matter. It, it's better to have them both on the same day. I, I I don't understand. Like you could have one early in the day and the other late in the day. They don't need to be on different days. Look very good indeed, but the move has yes. broken down. Well, he's been in the. Also, they can't be at the same time in real life. See the free kick there. On the same day, that's something that should could be done. Oh, without question, it just was make it a lot more easier. And he's in there with a the header. Oh, charge down. Wait. If you're worried about having something for for Sunday, have them both be on Sunday, and you can put one of the Premier League matches on on the Saturday. Don't even worry about it. Sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Well, first time it gives neither defender nor goalkeeper a prayer when it finishes bottom right. Restarting at 2 0. Muniesa. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Working hard just to see Glenn Johnson. Credit for taking on the shot. But well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's a glaring miss. Gomez. Put him under pressure. Get back up front. Moya. Can you make a three? Terrific stop. Sells with the save, but it's going to come to Alexander Reynolds. Oh, he's won it back. That's a really good tackle. A little mm -hmm. private game between the two of them. Gets his foot in there. Onto the attack now. It's a good place to win the ball. Moya. Oh, for God's sake. Bojan. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Well, that looked promising. But he's been stopped. He's in possession now, the ball again for Stoke City. Glenn Arnold. Kara. Here's a chance to attack. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Gomez. That was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper running off the defender, but he's run offside. 
He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Well, let's go over to the Emirates Stadium and hear from Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 78 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Of, uh, taking, uh, Substitution coming out. So, so far that means now I will be playing them in the final. Goes for goal with the header. And the header and scores. Spurs may make it 3-0 and seal off my... And book my tickets to return here to one day for the final. Two for him on the day. And of course now... Well to their lead, we'll well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, they they are three 0 They lead. The game started since down in the last ten minutes. Here. Nine to go. Time, so that would indicate to me that they have about ten minutes left as well. So I like the look about Liverpool today. Have, uh, have been any have the game Liverpool. where they oh, they've turned it to and the win that they deserve should soon be claimed. Strong tackle, and one that's led to a corner. And it's a heading chance now. What a fine save. The shot's on. He shot there, and that's why it's so wide of the mark. I don't know how they did not score there. Three minutes left. Well, they got left off match. there. Well, they're in a good position here. They need to try and get the ball back now. Shirdan Shakiri. Still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Here's a chance. He's kept it out. It looks like being one of those games where the Liverpool keeper is not going to get beaten. Final whistle goes, and they've done it. They've got through the semi. Three 0 victory for me, and Spurs did hold on. So I will be playing Spurs in the final of the FA Cup. Pretty uh. The Football Association semi-final, Arsenal 1, like Tottenham Hotspur 2, Stoke say. City 0, uh, Liverpool 3, Everton 4, surprised. West Bromwich Albion 0. Oh. I think that's his checks Frida. I'm not sure about that, but... I think it is. I was I was scanning him purely to check that fact. I'll have to look at his stats to determine where indeed he is, who I think he is, or not. Train for Van G Van Bergen and come out. Or, um, let's put Karen, let's get him up to a 60. Well, the hell not? Thibaut Courtois, I do Thibaut. Oh, I did not know who I was going to use for this game. But, yeah, well, you've come up with the solution. You're asking to play. No problem. Isn't that helpful? That's helpful whenever you have a, a S, like, you're struggling to pick which squad you use. Luckily, sometimes the players will come along and say, hey, can you play me? 
He'd say this dude. And you're like, okay, fair enough. The second game of the episode. Hi there, everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. In the commentary box, it's uh, with great view up here, Alan, and a great game, I think, in prospect. Yeah, we've got the best seats in the house and uh, looking forward to an entertaining matchup. Let's go. Coming up for you, Leicester City play Liverpool. This is the Leicester City lineup. Casper Schmeichel starts in goal. John Flanagan starts with Jeffrey Schlupp as the wide defenders. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. For Liverpool. Thibaut Courtois starts to get off to a great start here with Mane. Boom, 1 0. Mane is the main man. Simple and easy finish. Sadio Mane. It's almost as if they drew it home. To them so that there was space to break into. And how well they used that space. I thought Renato Sanchez was going to run onto it. That's what I was waiting for, for him to run onto it. But in the end, it was Sadio. Who has opened the scoring? Opens here. the scoring for this game. John Flanagan. Good forward play from them. Slipped his man to get the equaliser. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Here's Deli Ali again. Bruce. Bruce. Ah. Runs into a war. Oh, oh, we're here today to watch in the, the champions. Champions. With the title yeah. already sealed. Nice and relaxed. And the referee, well, he saw it clearly, and he obviously didn't like what he saw. And that, of course, it's a fucking yellow Very card. Early in this game, aren't we? And the yellow card out straight away. That maybe could be difficult for the player. It is going to be maybe for the ref as well. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a tight work for the player, obviously, with so much to go in this match. But the kind of Complete challenge. Complete or bullshit. Regardless, continue. Corner given after that tackle. Well, goes out of play for a corner. Within. John Matip! Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. Not a regular goal scorer, but he scores them on occasion. Hmm. The big camp, Rooney and Sarah back. Doubles my lead. Really sabre for all of us watching. Well, look at them, they're delighted, and it looks oh, like it was. I suppose you could miss. You know, it was a very, very tight angle. But he managed to get in. Uh, Claudio Ranieri. He looks sad, but if this had happened in real life, he probably would have laughed his fucking ass off. Well, dude, that's not what Just happened. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Alaba. Well, the visiting team were very, very big winners the last time these two teams met. But no two games of football are ever the same. And of course, this one isn't in the same stadium. No, and quite an intimidating atmosphere here. The crowd anxious not to see a repeat. So it will be tough for them. He's gone and got the ball in. Shots on here. He got in the way. Rigi. The score! Rigi! Oh, it's funny again and goes out for another corner. Crosses in. Well, the cross looked good. Nicholas! Oh, he scored! It's an own goal. <laughs> and what would. What are the chances? It well, is an absolute banger of a goal. 
but it's ended up in the back of his own net. From a centre back. You may have taken a slight deflection, do not put that down as an own goal. No! No, you fucking cunt! It's a frustrating way. I did see it, took a slight deflection, and the game is giving it a fucking own goal. With the own goal. You bunch of fucking cunts. You absolute well, shout of here. bastards. Well, he could go for goal from here. I'm really pissed off now. I card. thought that was the yeah. moment. Well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Back on it. He had no choice at all. Imagine being Sewell thinking you score your first three head. goals in like, season one or two. Oh, what a good chance that was for him. So, oh, first three goals in three, three or four years. Time. And sure enough, it's not Moving good enough with for the game. It's the like, not good. See, that's an own goal. Oh, he's come and pinch the ball off the oh, top of the attacker. Sick. Well, know. You have to time these absolutely perfectly because the attacker will go down at the slightest touch. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker. Renato Sanchez. It's made too easy for him. And shoots. Great ball. Oh, oh ring. How quick he reacted. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Flanagan. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. That's a good spot by the defender. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Well, I thought so. There'd be a good chance. Three it's going to be four minutes. And he's used his head there to keep his side in possession. Could be dangerous. Plus, I was going to say, thankfully, Nathaniel Clyde. Irving does this. That's the referee signaling for half time. Blowing his whistle. And it's Nathaniel Clyde. At half time. Guys, challenge perfect on the money. That so shit is still... Uh, I guess the coach might have said, well, if they can do that in one half, you can do it in the other half. Half to score in our goal. To, for the losing side to goal. fight back. And I think... We'll see it again. So we've got a corner coming and up. Fire that tackle. At least the Reese when the thing comes up. The and here's the shot. Thing. He's blocked the shot well. Ooh, mind me. Ah, and now the shot. Wonderful save. And to really reach out for that. Now it's a corner. That's Aaron Nargo. So oh save. This time Schmeichel is equal. That's interesting, the corner count to this point. And the corner dealt with pretty straightforwardly. Down on the bench, some activity for Leicester. So we'll restart with a throw in. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Not rushing it here. Moving from offside given. Whether he was Alan Smith. You know what's weird? If there had been, if there was right like an achievement score, well. it was good one goal for every Stop the game. outfield the player in your starting 11. Uh, yellow card, Alan. Yeah, I would have known it was an own goal because the thing would never, wouldn't have popped Russia, up. By the time he's trying to go for the slide goal. tackle. Popped up. Uh, he's a faction off getting the ball. It is a foul. If the achievement existed, I had it been so Here's the header. Very good stop here. And it's back for another corner. Pretty little uh, ponder, isn't it? 
Renato Sanchez. Let's go for it again. Oh, for God's sake. A bit of time and space. Good position. It's Leicester City who are going to make the substitution. Daniel Klein wins now the... they've got a chance oh. in this part of the pitch. Forward. Dancing up. And the defenders... He's kept it. Ah! And drink water clears it with... You know, for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the Premier League fixture that comes up for Leicester City. Leicester City facing West Ham United away from home. Yeah, yeah really looking eight. forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see throw. Some ball. It's looking good, this move. Yeah, make a substitution. Just to pass off some minutes on the clock. Uh, I'm going to sound odd, but I'm going to put Alexander Arnold at left back. And at central midfield, I'm going to pull. Hmm. I was going to say I was going to pull back Coutinho for one, but I don't have a camera on the bench. So you can play in central midfield, so he'll come on for Renato. Substitution for Liverpool. That's neatly done. Good challenge by the defender. Very good control, though. John Flanagan. Alan McAnally back at Villa Park. He's got some news for us. It's a second goal for Manchester City. 76 minutes played. 2 1. Thanks, Alan. Leicester oh, looking to get the ball up the other end of the field quickly. It looks like the opposition is in for an aerial bombardment here. Judging by the way the centre halves are going forward. Ah, Stopped emphatically oh. just as well. The great way looks challenge. Very encouraging. Ten minutes left of regular way. time. Makes a challenge here. Good. Penalty. Yes, this is the opportunity I've been waiting it's for. Penalty. More trouble. Well, this might just be the nail in the coffin. Did you see anything cynical in that, Alan? I think that will happily step aside. Made the most of it. Oh yeah, he just went off. So it doesn't matter. Alaba won't even... He, he just went off, so he can't take the penalty anyway. But this penalty is going to Nicholas. Stick it home. And... There we go. Oh, no con... Obviously about this one. This one is definitely the German goal. Great connection. Yeah, I think some people are cut out for it. Some aren't. This lad certainly is. Smashed it home. See, uh, slightly different viewpoint hmm. on it. Casper Schmeichel, maybe the son of a legend, but even the best goalkeepers can't match a good penalty. There it is. Every outfield player in the regular starting eleven has scored at least one Premier League goal. It's turning out to be a, a comfortable game. This four nil. Well, just over. Is it cheating to have given it to him from a penalty? I don't think so. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters have lost their will to support. I think. Well, haven't they? Just you could hear a pin drop here. And shoots. I think he got the headlines in his mind already. <laughs> Courtois was way off his line for some such reason. Such a wonderful breakaway goal. Oh dear, he's embarrassed now. Oh, he'll get some stick. He'll probably score there. Especially if they lose this game. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. The, indicated there will be a minimum the added time will be four minutes.
Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Great challenge from Saul to stop the run of wood. There's wood again. Mares. Not a great cross. Shots on here. Ah, oh, bollocks. A bolt from the blue, really. A really surprise goal from the team that's been on the receiving end. Well, they're going to have the final word in terms what of... What happened the there? Goal. But the uh, real conversation in the match has come from the other... Alexander-Arnold. Not exactly a... Uh, but he's the only one experience. Because it's been a, a tall performance. Left back. But... Come on, man. You need to be doing better than that. That uh, goes down on his uh, record as a goal in this division, and he'll be. And that's a win confirmed for Liverpool. It was a perfectly good clean sheet. Well, it turned out. Depending. It probably it wasn't a clean sheet. It was probably beginning. taken away from me because of the uh, yellow cards to Renato Sanchez and Dalaba. The winning team won't be disappointed at all. Played well. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Well, you fancied him to tuck that one away from 12 yards. He never looked like big reshuffle for. <laughs> the game recognizes his accomplishments. There you go. Despite having four players finishing on 8.4, Nicholas Sewell was awarded man of the match. Their goal came from a center back. What was he doing all the way up there? Were they on all our attack? A 4 nothing down in the 90th minute. Arsenal. This game. Sunderland. It hurts my brain sometimes. Aston Villa 1. Manchester City 2. That's all. All for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Joy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, we hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace. Everton, nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 97 points. In second,